Friends, 196 days of war. There have been many changes, especially in North and East Ukraine, as far as ground positions are concerned. Let me start from the North. The Ukrainian counter-offensive on Kharkov region has yielded some territorial gains to them. They have encircled Balak Lea and occupied Varbovka and Yakovenkova in northeast of Balaklea. Moving forward from there to Volkho Yar. As far as Volkho Yar and Balakleva Highway are concerned, this is almost under the Ukrainian fire control. They have further captured Kupiansk. And if they succeed in moving further towards Volkho Yar, as I told, they will be able to encircle Balaklea totally and even easier to some extent. As of now, for this success, Pentagon may tap its own back. As they were planning it since long and since mid-August, they were amassing weapons, accumulating them in Balaklea and to give reasons. It's not that the Russian forces did not foresee this, but they somehow failed. The defense of or by the Russians were weak here and Balaklea suburb has fallen through and it seems unstab unstoppable at present because by the time Russians bring their reinforcements despite their aerial and artillery attacks. Well, we have to wait and watch for a few more days to, which is following. The Ukrainian counter-offensive in north started from both sides of Izium and even south of Sivato, Sivatogorsk. While Russian forces have started the offensive towards Stari Sta, Salto, which it seems they have almost captured. Coming to east, Russian forces have captured some important territories like Novopol between Donetsk and Velikaya Novosolkoe. While Kodima has been totally cleared by them and Mayorus Mayor's Koe is under attack to reach rear of Bakhmut. They have even advanced north of Gorlovka and Bakhmut, a tough defense as far as Ukraine is concerned, is under immediate threat. In Donetsk region, DKAD area near Pesok, the Russians have advanced and fight is on for the Donetsk ring road between Pesky and Pirwamaisky, which seems to be almost a month's old war and it seems that Russians are on the verge of taking it over, if not already taken over. ISW on its part has noted that Russians have gained incremental or managed incremental gain in south of Bakhmut. Rest of the East Front in Ukraine, the battle is on and heavy shelling continues from the Russian sides. Coming to South, the Kharson counter-offensive seems to have come to a standstill. The battle basically from the Ukrainian side seems to be to keep their bridgehead safe so that the Andriuka called wrong that has been created should remain safe as long as possible without withdrawing. The reinforcement, as far as they are concerned, they still have, as information suggests, enough reserve but without much of the lethal weapons like tanks, artillery, etc. So, the manpower is concerned how skilled or unskilled they are that will be seen during the war. As far as Russians are concerned, at present they seem to be satisfied holding their defense line wherever possible in both north and south so that they are waiting to 
destroy the Ukrainian offensive is piecemeal and at present the northern side counter offensive of Ukraine seems to be moving at a pace which won't be liked by the Russians but this is the present situation and in east the Russians are continuing their offensive as before gaining small lands as far as ISW is concerned incremental territorial gains that is the total summary of the entire war zone in addition that the shelling continues from both the side especially from the Russian side as heavy as possible. Friends, there are many questions. What happens if Russia loses? Is there any possibility of peace after these two counter offensive come to a standstill? Is Pentagon ready for total rout from Ukraine? Depending on the situations. Well, that is the end as far as I am concerned. Looking forward for your comments and inputs. Thank you.